Hello everyone, boy Derek Diablo here, Diablo TV, like, subscribe, do things you're supposed to do. Continuing on with the series, Books Available by Derek Diablo. 99 cents, low price right now. And this one is called Bad Dudes, Origins of U.S. Antifa, 1980-2017. No other book like it, you see them in the cover from when I was doing my thing. This came out in 2020, but it's covering... My involvement was 2011 to 2017, but it's based, it's built on on the anti-racist, militant anti-racist skinhead movement that I was already in. So, book overview is brief. It says the George Floyd protests have ignited a hailstorm of conflicts, destruction, and chaos all over America, with the dreaded Antifa at the top of the news. What is the general history of this nebulous movement? In this hard-hitting gem of gangster crime fair, the enigmatic Derek Diablo dishes on how U.S. Antifa went from 50 activists to a national menace. <laughs> Never been told or the uh, uh, elsewhere. People's not invested in being told on either side. They rather have their own version of it that they that they put out there and the college kids and everything like that. That they could tell you what it is, but that ain't the same movement. Ain't the same people involved. It's skinheads, anti-fascist skinheads. That's who started it, you understand. Came out of Sharp. Sharp is the most effective militant anti-racist group in history. Sharp, skinheads against racial prejudice. Antifa never achieved those type of levels and it, it got hijacked by the internationalists. But uh, this book, um, at the time I was throwing anti-Trump events, feel me? Uh, punks versus Trump. I was throwing anti-Trump concerts, leading all the marches. All, all, all the protests I was at, leading it as a face of Antifa, a massive protest we had here, women's march, over 10,000 people, shut down 95. Anyway, well, that's the stuff I was doing back then, walked away from politics, as many of you know, but the story is interesting nonetheless. And I was at one of these concerts, one of these punk, punk, punk versus Trump concerts that I threw, I was throwing. And, the, and this fella came up, and I could see he didn't fit in, but, uh, you know, whatever, normal looking guy or whatever, but, uh, you know, I welcomed him just the same when I was friendly to him. Bottom line is, after the guy warmed, loosens up a bit or whatever, and he feels all right in the, in the, with us, you know, in this venue, then uh, he starts telling me, oh, that he that he's writing a he's writing a, a fiction book, and he's and he wants to be, you know, want Antifa to be in the, in the as the as the villains and whatever. He started talking about oh, whatever. I ended up doing um. I ended up interviewing me and stuff like that, and hung out with us going to downtown Fort Lauderdale, and uh, he was filming me and taping, taping me and stuff like that. And uh, he ended up giving up on the book. He ended up giving up on the book and just giving it all to me and telling me I could do whatever I want with it. So it's a bit interesting, and it's not, it maybe, I feel like he tried to make me look like an idiot a little bit, some of the stuff he was saying. But uh, you have to read it for yourself. I'll put the link below. Uh.